So in other videos from here in Thailand, we have explored some of the most amazing, interesting, and strangest temples Thailand has to offer. Well, today just happens to be Halloween, and what better place to spend Halloween than at this temple? Welcome to the Temple of Buddhist Hell. Um, that is maybe the creepiest rendition of Buddha I've ever seen. He looks like he wants to eat your children. Yeah, that's uh, not the Buddha I know and love. And look at the size of that belly button. Ew. So as you first enter this temple, there are all these depictions of the life of Buddha on his way to enlightenment, on his way to nirvana. And this one over here is particularly interesting. It depicts Buddha under the Bodhi tree, and right before he reached enlightenment under this tree, the king of the devil came with his minions to tempt the Buddha. And in the end, the king of the devil and his troops were defeated and finally paid their homage to the Lord Buddha in the long run. And all these are depictions of the Buddha teaching the Four Noble Truths of the Buddha and the reward of those who listen to and follow his teachings. So in the Buddhist faith, if you follow the Buddha, listen to his teachings and live your life according to his teachings, goodness, a wholesome life, luck, money, all of the good things in life will await you. But if you are an evil person, if you have malice in your life, if you don't follow the teachings of the Buddha, this is what awaits you in the afterlife. These tall, grotesque humanoid figures are known as prets, or hungry ghosts, and they are considered one of the six forms of existence and torment humans in hell. They are believed to have been corrupted, deceitful, jealous, greedy people in a previous life, and as a result of their karma, they are now afflicted with an insatiable hunger. They can scream an ear-shattering scream, and are just one of the many beings that await to torment you in hell. In Buddhist cosmology, hell is known as Narakas, and it's believed to be a series of cavernous layers which extend below the ordinary human world, and the torments you will experience here are often extremely severe. Each one of these horrific depictions of people with animal heads, bird heads, rat heads, they all symbolize a punishment in Buddha hell. This one is for those who steal. They are named as the spirits of the birds. The rat symbolizes those who destroy things that aren't theirs. They are named as the spirits of the rats. And this one, this one is my favorite. This one is for those who destroy the wilderness. They are punished to hell, and they are named as the spirit of the deers. If you rape someone or have sex with someone that is not consensual, you are punished to hell and named as the spirits of the chickens. And over here, those that murder, those that act without loving kindness and commit the biggest sin, murder will have the same thing happen to them every single day in hell. And this one here is the penalty for killing your husband. Especially if he was a good father. And this one is the penalty for men for raping someone. Say goodbye to your junk, pal. But this one I find particularly strange. This is the punishment for taking birth control. Seems a bit harsh. And if you steal something, no matter how small, this is what awaits you in hell. It's gotta be uh, really hard to, uh, you know, do one of the other sins that, you know. If you abuse alcohol and not pay attention to your mindfulness, this is what awaits you. You are fed boiling hot magma 
every single day in hell. Um, look at this guy over here. Why does this guy look like Saddam Hussein? Very, very, very strange. And this one is another depiction of what happens if you rape someone or if you have sex with somebody's wife or husband. Although there are other hell gardens around Thailand, this one is the largest. And the thing I found most bizarre about this place wasn't the statues themselves. It was the fact that families came here with their kids as if it was just an ordinary park. They bought candy and sodas from the street vendors parked at the entrance. Hmm, not really my version of a family fun day. So as the story goes, Malaya went to the underworld to save all the hell beings from sin and then came back to tell all their relatives to make merit in order to donate the offerings dedicated to the deceased and save them from a life in hell. And that's what this depiction is right here. Look at this amazing temple here at the Temple of Hell. I love the depictions of snakes here. That's maybe why I love Thai culture so much. Snakes everywhere. All right, so the Garden of Hell was down that way. There is more to see that way. We're heading over there now. All right, so this is the actual temple itself. There's not a lot in here, but I'll just show it to you guys. I'm very dark right now. <laughs> Look at this, this is just bizarre. Um, there's a really bad taxidermy of a dog in here. Okay, that's just pretty strange. Be good, be kind, sustain existence, Diva protect you. The loudness cannot stand still, but the goodness. No smoking. Oh, look at all this. This is just absolutely amazing. Okay, there's another dog under plexiglass here. That is really strange. I wonder, it says what it is, but in Thai, I wonder what that is. That is really strange. All right, so um, there's not actually that much in the actual temple itself. A couple of taxidermy dogs, people praying, what you'd expect, you know, to be found in a temple. So, you know, the good thing about being a Buddhist is that you don't really spend a lot of time in Buddhist hell because eventually you'll be reincarnated and you get to start all over with a fresh life and hopefully you're not gonna make the same mistakes you made that landed you in hell in the first place. So anyway guys, there's lots more strange adventures coming up from here in Thailand. So hit that subscribe button when you do, hit that bell so you never miss a strange upload. Give this video a like and a comment below and until the next strange adventure, embrace your strange and rattle on.